G'day guys. Okay, so in my videos, uh, you'll see a lot of cooking, uh, a little bit of full driving, not too much. I thought, well, times are going to start changing and some new videos are going to be uploaded very, very shortly. Um, I haven't, this is the first time I've actually uploaded uh, my boat. This is a Sea Doo 150 Speedster with a 215 horsepower Raytac supercharged. Very, very fun, quick on water. Um, I've had the boat for about three or four years. Um, the only reason, um, let me just turn the camera. The only reason um, I haven't uploaded <laughs> because I haven't had the boat on the water. Unfortunately, about a year ago, um, I snapped a timing chain and lost two bearings off the supercharger therefore i was up the river on the day luckily it went just coming onto the boat ramp and then for i bent about six valves um i've done some damage <laughs> yeah so it's actually cost me a little bit but at the same time the boat engine um before the timing chain snapped on me it only done 17 to 18 hours so the engine itself is, is, is pretty much immaculate still. Um, the boat itself, I would never sell it. It's my pride and joy. There's not a scratch on it, you know. Uh, a little bit of paint fade on the on the on the back lid there. Um, I've done the Hydra Turf. I put that in about two or three years ago. So the Hydra Hydra Turf um, definitely makes a difference. I've got the boat cover. I've got a genuine Sea Doo boat cover. Uh, I did have a tower on it um, about six months before uh, the engine went on me, but um, I've kept the original engine, and let me just show you, let me just walk around here. So, what we have here is the water pump, so... I fully resprayed and cleaned the water pump so the engines I don't have the blocker at the moment so that's uh that's in the back shed ready to be hoisted back in so I've got the cam here um let me just show you the head so the valves have been done um and it's all been cleaned so the head is in absolute mint condition now so brand new valves um there was I think there was two two intake and four of the exhaust or manifold as they say uh, also the supercharger there's a supercharger there so that's been fully rebuilt um, and the kits now that run through them normally originally they had a uh, hundred hours these new kits now new bearings um, new bushes everything now they last up to 200 hours which is even better but um, I'll tell you what, guys, in about, I'd say, a month or hopefully less, I'm going to have this baby on the water. And I'm going to mount some GoPros. I'm going to fit a Bimini in about a week or two. Um, so I've got shade when I'm out in the water. So I only hit a uh, river. So it's only fresh water. I don't hit um, ocean water. Only reason being, being in the ocean um you really gotta really gotta flush them out you, you gotta flush them um and you, you gotta clean them well because the when i when i purchased the boat um at first the owner had obviously used it in the ocean and there's a lot of corrosion that i noticed at, at some some parts inside the boat that i had to replace because he didn't flush it didn't clean it and we all know what happens when when seawater hits metal fiberglass nuts and bolts everything washes or anything it it rusts yeah so the it's only really it's only really river land i usually hit the boat uh draw the boat onto so i've installed ever since i've had the boat i'll probably just go the other side there so i've got the cd player not just on the left hand side of there and then obviously some speakers they don't have to be marine um yeah, like I said, it's only done 18 hours max. 
um, before the engine went on me. Luckily, it was on. The, it was just coming on onto the onto the trailer, and is when it just stalled, and that was it. So luckily, it didn't happen on water. <laughs> I was already been rowing, but um, the boat was in mint condition. I've always kept after it, and I don't know if you guys are you know familiar with these boats, but they are very very rare. Um, they are very known and common in, in Miami and, and stuff like that. Um, there's a couple in the Gold Coast that I've seen. But, um, yeah, where I am, I've only seen really two. So every time I go up the river, I, I definitely get uh, a lot of people asking about it. Um, you know, oh, where'd you buy it? And they're, they're pretty cool, you know. They're, they're basically an oversized jet ski. Um, the model before these ones was a 150... Uh, just the 150 non-supercharged um, and I thought well I'll go faster uh, bigger and faster again and yeah so I purchased the 215 horsepower Rotax supercharged and I'll tell you what hearing that supercharge wind on water <laughs> very quick um, very easy to drive very maneuverable and it does take a little bit of practice getting on the trailer but um, and it took me a couple of weeks when I first purchased the boat. Um, and then I started tidying it up, put the hydro turf in there, um, which is pretty clean. So I'm happy with that. So yeah, so a month guys, we're gonna start seeing some new videos, new footage on my channel. And hopefully with your help, you guys can share this and subscribe and like. Um, help me grow the channel. I want to start doing more camping, more camping videos, you know. Um, not just having the boat in the water, but um, go a bit of fishing, freshwater yabbies. Um, I see a lot of people like my cooking videos. So uh, maybe I can do uh, some cook-ups on the, on the River Murray. I've got, um, I've got power, I've got solar. Um, got stoves and everything else so yeah maybe comment below just tell me what you like what you like to see if, if I was going to cook um, yeah next time I go up I guess it'll be like maybe December November December um, which is just around the corner so if you guys want to see me cook something a bit of a challenge you know um, yeah maybe comment below and I can I can definitely give it a go. Anything's achievable. You know, fresh damper or butter chicken or whatever, you know. Um, I do some, I might do some cook ups, definitely uh, going away. But uh, anyway, I'll end this one there. I thought I'd just put this short video in of the boat because I've only got a short video is what you check through my videos I've got a short one with a boat in the water that was pretty much the weekend the last weekend the boat seen water um, and unfortunately yeah I think it's rather the chain went and got through the supercharger or maybe one of the bearings went in the supercharger knocked the chain broke the chain and therefore stupid me tried to start it because I think it was you know couldn't work out why it wasn't starting just to flush the water out and as they're doing that I was, I was doing damage to the valves I actually bent six valves so yeah it's cost me in the long run um, but you learn by your mistakes unfortunately that's just the fact of life but you know, next time, this time it's going to be different. It's going to be a fresh engine in there. She's going to run really good. And I can't wait to hit the water. I'll tell you what, guys, and with your help. Um, yeah. Oh, I even, might even notice as well. Um, rebuilt. With the rebuilt. Um, I might even put some videos as me putting the engine, um, putting the engine back in the boat and just assembling it. So basically, um, everything's been done, the head's been done, the supercharger's been done, I've got all parts, I've got gaskets. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's cost me a little bit, but, you know, it's worth it. 
um, especially for a pride and joy. But I reckon I might I might upload some videos of me um, putting the engine back in and, and first starting it, which is I can't wait for the day. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking definitely looking forward to it, especially hitting the water again. It's been definitely a long time. All right, guys, we'll leave it there. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Help me grow this channel. We'll definitely have more videos to come. And I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.